Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, we're going to do a scouting report on Trevor Connolly. He's a firecracker on the ice with some slick hands. So stick around and let's see what makes him one of the top prospects for the 2024 NHL Draft. And if you want to see some scouting reports on other prospects in this draft class, head over to NHL Draft Pros on YouTube. I have a bunch there already and more to come. And can you please subscribe and hit that like button? We are approaching 8,000 subscribers. So please support the channel and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. All right, Trevor Connolly. He is 6 feet, 156 pounds. He shoots left and plays on the wing. So he's a little bit on the smaller side, and I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. If we look at his NHL draft rankings, NHL Central Scouting has him at number 6 for North American skaters. Pretty decent. McKean's Hockey has him at number 14, TSN Bob McKenzie at 11, Elite Prospects 14, and the Hockey News at 21. Now check out these numbers. In the USHL for Tri-City, he had 78 points in 52 games. Very nice numbers indeed. And if we look at his points per game, he actually led the entire league in his draft year at 1.50 points per game. So, yeah, he is an offensive juggernaut for sure. So now moving on, we're going to check out his skating, his shooting, his passing, his puck control, his compete level, and what he needs to improve upon. So the first thing is his skating, and you're going to see that he is a really good skater. He's got some nice quickness in his skating. And you're going to see a lot of his of these clips. He is like look, just broke an ankle right there. Didn't even didn't even have to make a move on the on the defense. He already broke ankles. So yeah, when he gets that speed going, he can fly out there. And you know what? It's really effortless for Connolly. That's one of the things with his skating is that he he gets it to top speed pretty quickly. And you're going to see this right here. Look at this. And then watch this one here. He's that stop, and then he scores. So he's got some good maneuverability too and some good edge work. So he's got a combination of good separation speed and that maneuverability, which is really nice to see in a forward. Now, the one thing is, is that he gets knocked off the puck a little bit easily. And I'm going to show that later on things he needs to work on. But look at that edge work. Boom, just <laughs> broke an ankle right there. So yeah, he can maneuver on the ice really nice. All right, shooting. Now, Connolly deceptively has a decent shot. And we, like I said, we got to remember, he's 160 pounds. But man, he's got a release. And he can snipe with the best of them. I would definitely say that when he gets a little bit thicker, watch out. Because that, look at that, bar down. Boom. That is the epitome of bar down. Walked in on the goalie one-on-one -on -one and absolutely buried it. Now watch this one here, the little toe drag release. Oh, I love that toe drag release. You know, the uh, old Bedardian toe drag release. And he just pulled it off right there. Look at that bad boy. Woo! So, yeah, he's got, a, he's got a really nice wrist shot, as you can see right there. And he puts his whole body weight into it. You see that? So, you know, if he, if he gets up to like 190 pounds, watch out. There it is again. There it is again. Copycat, paste, repeat. What a shot. So, Connolly... He's got the offensive toolbox already started with that shot. Now next is the passing, and he had 40-something assists, so you know he can dish the puck. And look at this. That is a read-and-anticipate type pass. So McConnelly is really good at seeing the ice where all his players are, all his, his um, teammates are. And so you know he's got that offensive IQ that you like to see or that hockey IQ and right there same thing he uses skating to kind of and and the one thing in this in this clip here I wanted to show is that he waited for that D to come to him to commit and then he dished it off nice empty netter for his teammate there so yeah his head is always up he's always scanning the ice and he he can see the ice really well and this one here is a nice dish right across the seam there and that is another element of his game the passing that he has that he adds with that shooting so you know what the last thing i want to talk about might even actually be the best thing that he has and that is his stick handling watch this clip right here he literally dekes out most of the team here so he you know dipsy doodles he says ah, i don't got an opening comes into the middle here whoa 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 and then watch this even dekes out the goalie 
Yeah, he just backhanded that into the net. You're going to see it from a different angle here in a second. But he comes in, he digs out the whole team, and then watch this, waits, waits, <laughs> and tucks it in backhand. So I want to show that clip. That kind of defines his stick handling abilities. He's a great stick handler, and he, and he uses that edge work. See that? See how he stopped on a dime there and just cut back? So he, he's, got the, he's got the filthy mitts. I have to admit, the one thing I'd say, he, you know, he's, he's, a real, he's a good shooter, he's a good passer, great stick handler. And he's not afraid to attack the uh, middle of the ice. That's the one thing. I'll give it to him. You know, for, for being a smaller player, he doesn't have that physicality, but he's not scared to attack the middle of the ice. And so the compete part is the next thing that we're going to talk about right here. And the one thing that he does is he keeps moving. He's always moving on the ice. He doesn't stop skating. He is chasing pucks like this one right here. Look at this. Chases the Norwegian down. Stick lift. Got the puck. Unfortunately, they didn't get in possession, but it gives you an idea of, of his work ethic. So right here, same thing. He's just going to hunt this down, hunt this down. He's going after it, going after it. Gets rubbed off. So see that weakness there? He needs to, to get a little stronger. We're going to talk about that in a second. But he's always skating. He's always moving on the ice. And you love to see that. Same thing here. He's going to attack. He's going to attack right at the D. And then look at stick lift. Keeps on going. Another stick poke check there. And they win the puck over. So nice work ethic right there. Now, things that he needs to improve upon. And the one thing is, is that sometimes he's just, he's always poking. Like right there, see, he kind of avoids the physicality a little bit. And I don't, you know what, I don't blame him. He's 160 pounds. This one here, I get it. He was trying to do the chip bank it didn't work but you know there's other ways to get that puck he, he could have leaned in a little bit more so you know and that's not his style and i get it but sometimes you got to commit a little bit of the body here's the the weakness watch this guy just kind of pushes him down and he falls down see so he's still a little weak needs to work on that strength and here he tries to do a little bit too much one on four tries to deke watch his head up watch this whoa just avoided some contact there and then he gets pickpocketed so Trevor Connolly, yes, the strength, skating. You know, the one thing is, is that he's got good speed, he's got good acceleration, and he's always moving. I love to see that in a player. He's not stopping, he's moving, he's moving, he's attacking, he's not sitting back. His puck control, great hands, filthy, slick mitts for sure. I like the confidence when he has the puck on his stick. And the hockey IQ, good passer, good shooter, gets, gets those open lanes, so you like to see that in a young player. Now, things he needs to work on. So forcing plays that time, he you know trying a little too much, you know you got to sometimes you know rein it back a little bit. I I I like the confidence, but sometimes there's other plays, and not trying to do it all on your own. Physicality sometimes you know I just not that I'm again I, when I say physicality, I don't mean that you got to go out there and run guys. However, you know lean into a player, you know push him against the boards a little bit. But again, he's only 160 pounds, actually 156 pounds. So, you know, that's the next point. He needs to get a little stronger, get a little bulkier. You know, like I said, if he gets up to 185, next year he's going to college, Providence. Hopefully they bulk him up a bit and he can get a little bit stronger. As of right now, skill-wise, he's, you know, he's he's a better pick than he's going to probably go mid-first, I'd say. But I, I, right now, I think that, you know, mid-first is, is, a, is a comfortable probability for where he's going to get drafted. And that is it for Trevor Connolly on today's video. Thanks for watching and please support the channel by subscribing and hitting that like button. I really appreciate it and we'll see you soon. Cheers.